Why would you want somebody to help you negotiate? Well, you may be an experienced negotiator who always wins, or you may be a novice who's somehow intimidated by the whole process, especially if you're going up against a big bully. Uh, so there are aspects of negotiation theory that say the worst person to negotiate for you is you. If a good negotiator is negotiating on your behalf and comes to a good agreement, one that is disciplined, one that is structured, then that negotiator can come over to you and you've got the time now and say, this is what's been agreed to subject to your approval. That gives you time to sit on it, to discuss it, to sleep on it. So it's a very good way of getting an agreement to where it can really take on a life without falling to pieces if something's not right. Doing a deal quickly is not good negotiation. Leaving your counterpart lost or not winning or you've won, they've lost, is not a good negotiation. It is not sustainable. You're leaving somebody angry with you. You may be in the same industry. You may not want that of your relationships. You may not want to live your life that way. You may be in the same community. If you think about it carefully, do you really want to win or do you really want to get what it is that you need and want? And if the other party gets and needs what they want, you have all sorts of potential that you wouldn't have if you won. So, the prospect of negotiating on your own, and this is what a lot of people really miss, no matter how long you've been negotiating for, I have to prepare for a very long time to negotiate. I've got my checklists and the discipline that's needed for that is immense. And the reason that I am unable to do it on my own is because I need to be challenged and I think most of us do. Sit there with a checklist of questions and you can say, well, what would my bottom line be? And you can answer that. But then the part where you really have to put your mind to it is what would his or her bottom line be? And you can go through these questions and they're going to make your outcome just that much better. It could be something like who will be making their final decision? Who should I be talking to? What sort of hierarchy are we talking about? Should I start off with that guy or this guy? Is their lawyer coming? That type of preparation is absolutely essential. And there are very few people that really, really do it properly. So if you have to get into a negotiation, I would advise you to get assistance, to get a professional that understands the prospects and the challenges without the emotion and that's the key so the emotion comes through in somebody who's inexperienced and i don't care what i hear emotion comes through in somebody that is very experienced winning all the time gives the illusion that the deals are durable, solid, livable. And if we think about it, do we really want to beat everybody up?